Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today we're making air fryer chicken. Here I have two chicken thighs and two chicken drumsticks. It's about two pounds of chicken. Here I have buttermilk and some salt and pepper. I'm just gonna put the salt and pepper in there. Give it a little quick whisk. We're gonna pour this right over the chicken. I'm just gonna carefully make sure everything is in that buttermilk mixture. And we're gonna marinate this for at least one hour and you can do it overnight. You can do it right before you go to bed so you have it for dinner the next day. It can be in there for 24 hours. You can also do it in the morning before you go to work. What that buttermilk's gonna do is it has some acid in it so it's going to work on the proteins and give it flavor and moisture so when we cook it, it'll have like a nice moist um, texture and feel. So I will see you back here after the marinade. Okay, so we have our chicken. It's been marinating for about two hours. Here I have some just regular flour and in here I have salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and mustard powder. That's gonna go right into our bowl. We're gonna mix everything together. And I'm gonna take the chicken, I'm gonna dredge it in the flour mixture, and I'm gonna put it right on our pan. This is an avocado oil spray. I'm just gonna spray that down. And then I'm going to use one hand. I'm gonna keep one hand clean. And the other one, I'm gonna take the chicken. And I'm gonna make sure that there's flour. Like so. And then I'm just gonna lay it into our pan. Okay. And our fourth piece here. I'm just gonna use a little oil spray on the top of here. And then I'm gonna set this to 400 degrees for 20 minutes. So everything is going right into the air fryer. And there we go. So I'll see you back here in 20 minutes. All right, so we've had our chicken in the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Let's take a look. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that, can you see? The top sizzling nice and brown. Perfect. If you want it a little darker, you can leave it in there a few more minutes. If you like it a little less golden brown, you can pull it out early. If you wanna make sure that the chicken is cooked through, you can use a thermometer and you can pull it out around 155 or 150 and then let it sit. It just needs to come to 165 degrees to be fully cooked poultry. So once again, I'm Abby. This is my air fryer chicken. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.